Welcome to the Mental Health in Black and White channel, your portal to unravel the complexities of mental health in a straightforward manner. I'm Zen the Zebra, your guide through these essential discussions. If you're eager to stay updated on your mental health journey, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you won't miss any of our daily enlightening content. Today we delve into the fascinating topic of emotional programming. What is it? How it shapes your thinking? And most importantly, how you can break free from its grasp. Emotional programming originates from the experiences of your early life, particularly interactions with parents, siblings, and other influential figures. These experiences leave indelible imprints that persist into adulthood. No one's life is without flaws, and these imprints often comprise a mixture of positive and negative encounters. When your life has been graced with sufficient positive experiences, your emotional cup tends to stay full. You can process negative experiences, compartmentalizing them so they don't dictate every aspect of your adult life. However, if the scale tips towards predominantly negative experiences or early traumatic events to disrupt your emotional development, your emotional programming can turn overwhelmingly negative, affecting your present day interactions. Emotional programming gives rise to distorted stories you tell yourself. These stories, akin to maladaptive schemas in dialectical behavior therapy, can significantly influence your behavior and outlook. Let's explore six common negative stories that can take root. Number one, the abandonment story. Stemming from early experiences of cold, distant, or critical individuals, this story can lead you to believe that people don't genuinely care about you. You may expect the impermanence of happiness and fear being alone or abandoned. Number two, the dependence story. Crafted from a past where you were overprotected and discouraged from taking risks or learning from mistakes, this story makes you feel unable to cope alone. You may feel a need for someone to care for you and make you happy. Number three, the unworthy story. Born from unrealistically high standards, constant criticism, or unfavorable comparisons, this story convinces you that you are fundamentally flawed, unlovable, or damaged. Number four, the disconnection story. If you've struggled with opening up, this story may thrive. You might find it challenging to feel close to people or believe there's an invincible barrier between you and others. Number five, the mistrust story. This story can evolve from a belief that no one truly has your best interest at heart. It may manifest in relationships where you question loyalty or tolerate unacceptable behavior. Number six, the failure story. Rooted in a series of failures or inadequacies, this story can make you believe you're destined to fail. It may lead to self-sabotage or reluctance to seize opportunities. Recognizing these patterns is the first step to breaking free from negative emotional programming. Start by journaling your thoughts and emotions. It allows you to express your raw feelings and then fine tune your thoughts later. Be aware that emotional reasoning often drives these stories. Emotional reasoning is a cognitive distortion where your emotions dictate your perception or reality, even when they may not accurately reflect the situation. Challenge these emotions and remind yourself that your feelings don't always align with reality. Engage in self-soothing activities to generate positive emotions that can counteract rumination or negative stories. Embrace coping statements like, my past doesn't define me, or my emotions do not always reflect reality. Consider seeking professional help to navigate these complex narratives and embark on a journey towards healing. Remember, it's a process and progress takes time. Stay tuned for more insightful content. Don't forget to grab our journal that's located right in the description. It will certainly help you to assist your mental health goals. Stay tuned for more insightful content and see you next time on the Mental Health in Black and White channel. Bye for now.